Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Welcome back to another Saturday Live. In case you don't know, I try to go live every single Saturday whenever I'm in the studio and I just try to answer your question in that. And in today's live, in fact, in most of the 2020s live, I'm going to provide a giveaway as well of some of the t-shirts. So just wanted to give you some of these information. So let's wait for people. Hope, hope that YouTube will send some notification and we'll be able to uh, grab some of the users up here. I hope, I'm just hoping that YouTube is going to send notification. So yes, Mr. Vergis, just like always, every single Saturday, he is up here. And hello, Tesh. I'm waiting from your from last one hour. Thank you so much, Tech Gamers. I really appreciate. I really appreciate your efforts. So sometimes what happens is YouTube don't like me that much and don't send out the notification. So in that case, uh, the audience actually turns up to be a bit uh, lower in the number. But hey, whatever that is. So uh, Sheetal Maheshwari, hi. How are you? How's it going on? Ayush, uh, tell about competitive coding in Java. First and foremost, the competitive coding is not very specific to any language. And I think if you don't have solid understanding of theoretical grounds, you won't be succeeding much on the competitive programming stuff. And most importantly, coding, uh, the competitive coding actually first need to be solved using a pen and paper or whatever the tools you are using. And at the very last phase is actually uh, opening up the code editor. And of course, a bit of theoretical about uh, bitwise stuff and bit of uh, your data structures and algorithm. This is the core important concept. A lot of people try to do is they just want to understand the competitive coding without understanding the fundamental of language, without understanding the fundamental of data structures and algorithm, and they just jump into it. You surely will be solving a lot of problems, but not in an efficient way. So don't jump, don't try to hurry up in getting into this competitive coding as quickly as possible. As I always say, First, get your programming basic done, make at least one or two projects, understand the data stru structure and algorithms, and then jump into it. It's going to be rather an easier process there. So don't hurry up. You got a lot of time to spend on competitive coding. Don't hurry up that much. Uh, love from Tamil Nadu. Hey, love, for, love to you as well from this amazing, beautiful place, Jaipur. It's really cool here. Best technology for Jaipur market. Jaipur is a bit of a slowed down, a laid back kind of a city. It's not really a fast pacing like Delhi, Pune, uh, Hyderabad, uh, Bangalore. These are fast paced cities. Their life is a bit faster on the side. I don't think so. Jaipur is that much fast for the technology. Surely companies are growing up here. They are getting more projects and stuff. Now people are starting, but I don't know what's going on in Jaipur. Some people are working totally in just React kind of environment. Some are still on the .NET world. I don't know why they are, but yeah, some of them are. Uh, the Fit Coder, you are an example how a techie person must be. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Deshmukh. And I would say, yes, it is an important part of our life that we should hit the gym, do some running, or at least try it. What's, what's the harm in trying? The max it's going to happen, we're going to fail. That's the max that can happen. So at least try to hit the gym or maybe a park nearby you, do some running. Uh, once you're going to compromise into your health, you won't be that much of an efficient coder. I want to write more code. I want to produce more videos. And for that, I need to be absolutely fit. That's why no matter what day is, even on Sundays, I hit the gym. Sometimes, most of the time, I hit the gym during the afternoon. Uh, so yeah. A great fan, sir. Thank you so much, Sandeep uh, Govda. Did I say your name correct? Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, we haven't even crossed 100 likes. Let's at least cross 100 likes there. It's not of a big deal. And yes, of course, uh, in case you don't know, uh, in 2020, in almost all, I don't say all, but in almost, almost all of the live sessions, uh, we're going to do a giveaway of t-shirt to one random person anywhere in between the live session. So yeah, that might happen. And maybe more than one in some of these cases, if I'm feeling too happy. So that might be the case. More than one can happen. And yes, I'll ship the t-shirts. Sometimes it's going to be merchandise, sometimes different stuff. It's going to be like that. So yeah. Enjoying offline boot camp. Uh, I will visit office soon. I know, I know. I have to visit office and I haven't visited it yet. 
I will visit it soon. I'll ask Saksham to pick me up someday and then he can drop me down or I can take an Uber. Will TypeScript be the future of web? No, one language cannot be the future of web. It's going to be always multiple languages. What about crash course on Rust? Uh, depends on how much uh, demand is coming up. I don't know. I don't think right now there is too much of the demand on the Rust. Compared to Rust, I think the Go is in much more demand, uh, but I could be wrong. I was studying Java. It is very difficult to me how to study easily. If you want to study it easily, I do have a Java bootcamp. And you know, I have a habit of turning tough things into the most easiest thing you have ever seen on the internet. Uh, ship to Sirsa. Uh, I'll try. I can ship it to anywhere, you, wherever you like. So your video motivate me to learn code. Otherwise, uh, I think programming is so hard. No, it's not hard. It's just uh, the right approach you need to take to make programming easy. It's not really hard. It's actually a super easy thing to do. Uh, I think, personally for me, I think that designing part is a bit more tedious. It requires a lot of effort, to be honest. Uh, to come up with a great design, even just a sign up button or anything like that, it's difficult. It's difficult. We programmers are doing easy job. Waiting for TED Talk on YouTube. Uh, Kaushik, uh, I think I'm going to tag the TDX, uh, TEDx GLAO guys very soon on the Instagram, and you can reshare that, tagging them again. Uh, I don't know when they will be uh, getting that. Your view on new Microsoft Edge, not great, not great. Uh, I thought that there's going to be comeback, something like Internet Explorer, what it did earlier in the internet. It's nothing like that, nothing like that. Even I was once excited about uh, Firefox, which when it came with a relaunch and their engine change and stuff like that, uh, not very much. What do you think about Deno versus Node.js? Deno is in a very, very raw stage right now, as their developers also mentioned in the conference that Deno is right now not that you should leave your job for, or it's not something that should be put into production as of now. But I think very, very soon it may scale up really good. And yes, I actually saw that talk as well. So I'm really happy that you are keeping up with the Deno. In case you don't know, Deno is something which is coming up in competition with Node.js. I really want something to come up in competition with Node.js. I personally want it. Not that I'm not liking Node.js, but it's always good that something is there in the competition. You know, the competition when Flutter came out, React team was getting a little bit panicked. That now we have to do something good. And they came up with the hooks and stuff, uh, the nice state management, don't need Redux and stuff. So yeah, uh, there's a super chat by uh, Bharti. Uh, Selva Kumar, thank you so much. I appreciate your effort. Uh, do you like deep space exploration? If somebody is taking me there, I would love to go. Otherwise, I don't mind it that much. But yeah, if you're taking me there, I would love to go. Uh, tell about rapid mining. No idea at all. Nope, not even a little bit. I have stammering. Can I get software job? Yes, of course. No problem in that. I don't think stammering is going to be a big issue. Uh, just openly mention it to the interviewer that, hey, I have a stammering issue, but my code profile is pretty efficient. My code doesn't stammer at all. and uh, It works nicely. You can check it on GitHub. I don't think so. There should be any problem. FBI unlocked iPhone 11. Ah, that's great. Good news for FBI. And I can pass on this phone to FBI. I have nothing to hide, no issues at all. But it's bad for some people. Maybe, maybe. OK, uh, sir, did you ever use Fiverr? Yes, of course, I have used Fiverr many, many times. In fact, I have provided my services on Fiverr as well. And I have used the services, variety of services from Fiverr as well. And again, it's pretty decent. It's not going to be uh, the top notch. It's not really that bad. But again, uh, good things and bad things are on all the platform. I was pretty happy with the services that people gave to me. A couple of projects, I wanted some things to be tweaked out a bit in the Photoshop, one thing in the Premiere Pro. Got a decent thing uh, in just like uh, 20, 30 like that. Beginner camera. Uh, the camera that you're seeing me right now is Sony uh, A6400. The worst camera I have ever bought, worst ever. The worst colors, the worst skin tone. 
like i don't know why even i bought that i could have gone for something like um eusr maybe 5d something like that i don't know why why i got into this sony game i really not liking this sony game please review applied ai course uh, it's a great course what do you need a review in that i don't review courses uh why you hide subscriber interesting question i don't have answer right now i will surely answer that very soon okay uh, there's a super chat hanging up there okay this this is by shitej singh hi tesh i just started learning javascript i want to launch my own web app using node and view in next two month is it possible uh a hundred percent possible uh but if you're just getting started with javascript and you have no prior programming experience I think two month two month is going to be a bit shorter amount of deadline that you are giving to yourself. I think a person is going to take at least a month to uh, get its JavaScript job pretty decent on the game. But again, it depends if you are spending like crazy, like what I did in the Photoshop. I, I was spending like eight hours, sometimes 10 hours with Photoshop. If you are spending that much amount of time, I think you can do JavaScript within like 14 days or something, give or take. And on top of that, Node.js is, if you're using like, let's just say, uh, you want to throw APIs from the Node and you're using MongoDB on the backend. I think if you take my course or any course, okay, given the fact, uh, if you take up the course, I would still say uh, 20 to 25 days with that course and then on top of that view. So I think two months is a very, very short duration, but anything is possible when there is a deadline on your neck. So yeah, I, I won't under a uh, rate you there but i think two months is a bit shorter of duration you are taking too much of the pain too much of the pressure uh, if possible just try to add one more month three months i think that's that's fair enough three months is a good amount you can have it and uh, then again it depends on how much time you are spending if you are just like me crazy you can spend uh, eight hours or ten hours on the desk yeah I think it's doable, but too much pressure, too much pressure. And coding should be fun. It should not be pressurized thing. And I'm also working on the same project, uh, something like that for one of the uh, project work. Uh, it's using Node heavily, so I'm still into the Node part. It's been two weeks that I'm building this project. So two weeks were gone totally into just building the backend stuff and models like that. But again, I would say might be doable. I'll say it, get three months, get three months. Okay, so let's pick up a couple of more questions. There are so many of the good ones coming up, but uh, only a few likes are coming up. I'm not liking this. Uh, Part Sony says, uh, Hindi mein banao. Uh, the thing is uh, that most of my people who buy my courses are either from the down south uh, who don't know the hin uh, what's Hindi is going on. They only prefer English as a medium. And apart from that, I have got a pretty heavy base in United States who buys my courses. So again, I definitely can make a lot of courses in Hindi. I'm totally fluent in that. But again, uh, would, be people, would people be buying that? So that's my case. So again, uh, this is a business issue that I'm facing. And Hindi users are not going to be willing to are not actually that much on this channel who will buy the courses and so again it's it's a business kind of issue uh atharv says doing your android p course from last five days it's awesome thank you so much and from the next month we are hiring one more person to handle a lot of stuff so uh, you'll be seeing more frequent replies we are already on top of questions yash is doing an excellent job aditya always a rock star and the new guy this piyush is handling absolutely nicely uh, he's actually very amazing with his reply. I was checking a few of his replies. Nice, nicely done. And I am about to hire a new guy. I've already hired him, actually. Uh, he'll be taking care of the questions in the discussion section. So yes, I am investing a lot in in making sure that you get reply to all of your questions, at least on Learn Code Online. I don't really care much about the third party or the third party marketplaces and platform where I also host my courses. So yeah. Okay, uh, let's pick up. Uh, what's your opinion about Flutter? It needs to mature more. That's my opinion as of now. Okay. Uh, how to get a job as a developer in LCO? Uh, again, 
you can be a great developer, but one of the core thing we do at LCO is teaching. So if you're a great teacher who can explain, who can take classes, take boot camps, that's going to be always the priority. A lot of people, and I've seen a lot of institutes shying out saying that we are not institute, we are more a company. We are pure institute. We love to teach, we love to deliver that, and we love to play on the latest technology as quickly as possible. That's what we like to do. So the one thing that is very essential for us for getting hired with us is passion of teaching and you should be able to take some of the classes, teach new beginners in a fun and engaging way. We prepare a lot for our boot camps. In case you don't know, uh, we prepare a lot about our boot camps. All the PDFs are prepared, assignments, curriculums. It's, it's a heavy game that we like to play here. And we love that. Okay, a React Native or Flutter. As of now, I'm going more on React Native, uh, but again, Flutter is growing quite nicely, quite nicely. Kaushik, uh, any update on internship? Why don't you shoot me up an Instagram message? And Kaushik, I'll remember your name because one of my friend's name is Kaushik, so, but he's not in touch right now, <laughs> so I can make a new friend. And probably shoot me up an Instagram message saying that you asked me, again, don't just send hi, send me a proper message, big lengthy one, because too many messages in Instagram. And I, I can see uh, we can do something about our blogs as well, in case you are interested in blog section. Uh, okay. So please, one video on Final Cut Pro. Ah, uh, Final Cut Pro. Is anybody even interested in knowing more about Final Cut Pro? I think nobody is interested in that subject. I thought I'm the only one who watches a lot of videos about Final Cut Pro and loves editing and all these stuff. I don't think other people actually are interested in that much. Otherwise, I would love to. I would love to geek out too much on these mics, which I spent like a crazy amount of money. But I love that. I love that. When, ne when next Android Bootcamp is going to be in LCO? I think in summer. Yes, 100% in summer. Before that, no, before that team is not free. Nobody is free actually to teach before that. So I think then we are going to have it. Yeah, Final Cut Pro. Ah, two users are interested in Final Three users are interested in Final Cut Pro. Like, how is that even possible? How is that even possible that people are interested in that? Okay, um, let's pick up a couple of more questions. How important is Redux for React.js? As of now, 2020, January, I think many of the project now can be made without Redux because we have a great management using hooks. And that's one of the reasons why hooks were released. So I think uh, Redux is not very necessary in the small scale project, but if you're having a big scale project where state management is gonna be an issue, uh, then surely Redux is important. In fact, many of the application have already adopted Redux. So it's good that you spend a bit amount of time. It's gonna be good for you as interviewer because uh, hooks are very new and nobody adopts a new technology on the very next day. It's gonna take some time. But as of now, a lot of people are already working on Redux. That's the issue. Okay, uh, Okay. there's an interesting question by uh, Dapanshu Narang. And he says, hello, sir, which one is a better job, a technical recruiter or a web developer? I like to code and position of technical recruiter is offering good salary. I like to be recruiter job too. <laughs> okay, so salary is making you interested in that. Uh, technical recruiter is also a great job. And again, uh, you interact with a lot of people. So what do you like most? Uh, interacting with more people because it's not going to be enjoyable all the time. You're going to interact with a lot of headache to who are always going to say, I need job, I need job, but have no skill at all. So you'll be frustrated there as well. On the developer side, you know what's the frustration is, the code and run and bugs and errors. So again, a deal up, which is worst case scenario for you. Don't pick up what's good there. Pick up what's the worst case scenario, uh, just like we do in the algorithms as well. What's going to be the worst case in a uh, recruiter? You're always going to be a recruiter. No change in technology. Uh, interacting with too many people who are always, I need job, I need job. And on the other side, bugs, a lot of new tech. What do you like most? Yes, I'm biased toward tech. I am very biased. Uh, okay, uh, there's a lot of question. Uh, 
Hello, sir. I am from Bangladesh. I want to become a CMS developer. I want to know which programming language I must know deeply, JavaScript or PHP. PHP, it's good for your country in the Bangladesh environment side. A lot of people are working on PHP, and then you can design a lot of themes and plugins in WordPress. That's going to be great for you. So I would recommend uh, PHP at least for you. Personal recommendation, again. OK, uh, best ORM for SQL uh, with Node. My SQL, actually, you can directly run that. Uh, I haven't actually seen much of the ORMs, which are working nicely. OK, uh, there's an interesting question by Akshita. She says, uh, sir, I'm, sir, if company doesn't clearly mention job profile, then how to get into mind that where to go? If a company is not mentioning the job profile pretty openly, then chances are high that you are into the bulk recruiter game. And that bulk recruiter game is not really great because they don't allow you to pick anything. They just throw you in a random bunches of uh, zones and criteria like that. And it's better to, before signing off, you just ask what's going to be my role. And the more transparent the company is, the better it is. Don't sign anything without having full transparency there. How is Spring Boot for REST APIs? Big thumbs up. No problem there. Please speak about IOTs. I'm not much into IOT stuff. I'm nowhere in the IOT stuff. Are you leaving in Are you leaving in India? What is that? Uh, Am I leaving India? No, I'm not leaving India anytime soon. Am I living in India? Yes, I am living in India. The studio is in India. And no, I am not planning to leave India. And I was about to post a story as well. There is a funny incident that happened. Uh, somebody actually uh, reached out to my email and asked me directly that, uh, what is uh, your current package? And what is your expectation with the new CTC? And when can you join us? And I was like, that's great that you have mentioned your job role and my work profile and everything. You are impressed and everything. But mailing me with such a confidence that I'm, you're asking me the date when, when can I join. I like that. But actually, that's not a great way. Just send some hello. Ask me if I'm free or not. Do I have a mind to change something? I know the position, roles, country, everything is good, but it's not really a great thing that if you just expect, I'm going to show up there. So don't do that. Don't do that. Blockchain crash course. I'm actually honestly not much interested in the blockchain technology. Uh, it's definitely great, but until unless I see much of the business opportunities there, I'm not going to spend much of my time there. Neither I'm going to recommend anybody that, hey, just leave everything and jump into blockchain. Blockchain can definitely be a side hustle that you can do apart from dealing with the mainstream thing which is going on like Python, JavaScript, uh, probably Go, web development, mobile apps, uh, data analysis. All of these things are mainstream. And blockchain, this is a side hustle that I would like to keep. I just keep an eye what's happening there. Nothing much. I just read a few blogs here and there. Nothing much. So that's what my views are. And again, my views can be wrong. Uh, what's your job role? My job role is to prepare for the latest stuff, whatever comes up in the technology, and prepare video tutorials and upload them on YouTube. That's my job role currently. <laughs> uh, Gotham Pre Krishnan says, and Hitesh Chaudhary and Learn Code Online changed the whole learning part of developers. Thank you so much. And I'm really uh, appreciating your effort and kindness as well. And yes, uh, definitely, we are making a big change of how people are producing content. Uh, I see a lot of other channels as well. They are now trying hard in bringing up their A game in audio, video, professional quality delivery. It's, it's growing quite a lot. And when somebody is growing like that, obviously, other people watch the content, get inspired with that, and try to improve their quality. I am nowhere near satisfied with my personal quality. I want a lot of improvement in that as well. And I think this is going to inspire other creators as well to improve the quality. It's not about just jargoning the content back to back, back to back. Don't churn out the content. Try to think about it, how you can deliver that. Take your time, sit out, relax, and then produce the content. That's what I do, actually. Which MacBook will be for iOS development? Cheap and best. <laughs> 
See, these two words, cheap and best, uh, doesn't go side by side. Either the thing is going to be cheap or it's going to be best. It's not an online course that for 10 bucks you're going to get everything. It's not. It's not like that. These are actual hardware which cost a lot of money. What about IRCTC website? You know, uh, recently I got an email from IRCTC and a complete blog post as well that somebody registered a domain which says ircttours.com and was selling so many tours on behalf of IRCTC and giving them vouchers for 40,000, 50,000, something like that. A big scale fraud was <laughs> happened all over the, just a side info. Okay. Uh, Let's pick up more questions. Abhishek Gupta, thoughts on SAP? I'm not a big fan of SAP. I prefer more of hands-on coding, but surely SAP is growing a lot. But I personally like more over hands-on coding, not just drag and drops of logics. I'm biased on that. I cannot do much on it. Just like MKBHD is biased more about saturated colors, I'm biased a bit more about programming stuff. Okay, a Tricky Academy. Uh, what will be better, web developer? as a server-side language, PHP or Node.js. I would say Node.js is pretty rocking. Very easy to learn. Very, very easy. I'll give you on that. Compared to PHP, Node.js is like ridiculously easy to learn. Throwing out APIs and, ah, it's so easy. OK, uh, let's pick up a couple of more questions. OK, uh, anything interesting? Best way to learn REST with Python? Django, of course. Uh, have a good start with Django. How you made your English so effective? Stop caring about people. They are always going to make point out mistakes and stuff. Surely improve, but Rohan Chaudhary says, sir, previously you were into ethical hacking. OK, I know where this question is going uh, initially. And then you switched to programming. How that? it happened and thank you for such amazing courses thank you so much okay uh it's not really a big dramatic story uh i was into more over pen testing stuff and we were collecting a lot of sometimes wireless data sometimes network data and we have to prepare a lot of uh, analysis and reports surely tools like burp suit and everything really helps a lot but sometimes you need to write your own custom script and I started uh, with Python to write custom script. I was writing it already when I was in pen testing. A few of the scripts that helps me to reduce my effort. And then I realized uh, that there is a tool, uh, Aircrack NG, uh, which was not having any graphical interface. I created that graphical interface for me personally. I was bored with that, uh, all the commands that I have to remember and check it again and again. I just created a simple GUI for that so that I can just check mark whatever the options I need and it just throws a command on the on the terminal. And I thought that, yeah, that's actually a cool thing. Probably I can do that more on the web interface. So I thought, hey, it's time to learn HTML and CSS and stuff. And after that, I never looked back. Uh, surely I was having previous experience about uh, writing code in C++, a lot, actually. Uh, I was writing a hell lot of code in C++ initially during the college days. Then I moved into Python. And then I moved into JavaScript world. And then there was no going back. I enjoyed my time in pen testing as well, delivered a lot of seminars, a lot of pen testing jobs. I traveled a lot through that as well. But I think, uh, uh, I think that I'm enjoying more as a developer. It's all about what you are enjoying. One of my friend Nikhil is he's still enjoying the pen testing part. And me and other of my friend Mohan, uh, he also moved into the development role. He is currently working in Atlassian, Mohan. And uh, Atlassian, you might have heard about that. And I am still working as a developer. So we enjoyed that. Tarun Kumar uh, says, Hitesh, your video course in LCO made me transition into a developer role. Uh, thank you so much, Tarun, uh, that you have now moved into as a developer. Uh, but since you are already writing code, would you like to grab a t-shirt as well? I'm going to just click a photo here uh, for Tarun. So hey, Tarun, in case you are uh, looking up to grab your t-shirt, please reach me out on in Instagram. Uh, make sure you do that by tomorrow latest. And uh, please reach me out on Instagram saying that, yes, I'm the one who you said you're going to give away a t-shirt. I would love to give you a t-shirt shipped directly at your home. Hope you are in India. Hope you are in India. I can ship right now only to India. So Tarun Kumar uh, Vela, uh, please reach me out. I would love to give you a t-shirt. And I'm really super happy that you have 
transitioned into a developer role. Super happy always when somebody makes a progress just by taking a course. And you know what these courses are costing? 600, 700, 800, just 1,000 at a max. And you are getting a salary way more than that every single month. So yeah, go ahead and reach me out on Instagram and I would love to see that. Okay, uh, Tilak Raj Desai. Did I say your name correct? Hope so. I have seen that Django is not widely used in India. Uh, yeah, that is actually a case. A lot of people are not using uh, Django that much. Uh, more people are into either PHP side or maybe Node side, but it's not like it's totally dropping down. Surely compared to them, it's less adopted. Uh, but again, probably the Node.js developers are easier to find. Probably that's the reason. Python developers are more into the side of machine learning or either pen testing stuff. Not many of the Python developers are web developers. That might be one case, but again, it's just me. Uh, sir, one, Python ML, or two, JS React Node, which is better for online freelancing. A hundred percent JS React Node, add React Native there too, if you want to earn a bit of more cash. Uh, but again, these are better in the freelancing world compared to Python and ML. It's and I have a solid reason for that. I'm going to share that as well. Uh, this is a super chat by Ajay Kumar Datta. Ajoy Kumar Datta. I said your name correct? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, the reason for that is in the machine learning, the core important thing is data. You might be excellent in processing the data, doing all the things. But the problem is who is ready to give you, your give you his data to you to process? I'm not. Let's just say you are amazing. And you ask me, hey, can I have all the learn code online data? I can improve your sale. I can do this kind of processing, this uh, algorithm and stuff, and I can improve your sales at uh, learn code online. But am I willing to give you all of the data at learn code online? No, not at all. I would never give that data to any freelancer. As a matter of fact, I don't give that data even to the employees here. I just process and love to see all of that data by my own. Nobody sees or take a look on that data. So again, that is the reason why JavaScript, React, React Native, Node is more into the uh, freelancing stuff because people are ready to give you or help have you to design their entire CMS or whatever they are looking up for. I hope that uh, gives you a justified answer there. Okay, what course do you recommend for web developing? I would recommend start with my complete front-end developer bootcamp. Excellent course with a lot of support. And then I would say, take my free JavaScript course. After that, take my Node.js course, and then you can move on to React. So this is a pretty decent, and it's a very long curriculum, which I've just said. It's going to take you probably five or six months to complete all of that on an average case. Uh, set up your office in Dehradun. It would be really cold. I can ship my office to Goa. That's awesome. I still love a couple of beaches there one of my favorite place in India. Uh, you haven't picked a single question of mine today. It's all about luck. It's all about luck. OK, uh, make sure you hit that like button as well. Uh, make sure you keep on hitting that. Let's cross at least 300, just 20 more. Come on, you can do that. Come on, come on, hit that like button. I forgot to bring my water today. Hmm, bad. OK, your views on Flutter for, for cross-platform apps versus separate Android versus iOS. Is Flutter better? Uh, it depends what app it is. Uh, if this app is basically uh, providing a user a way of using the stuff from the web into mobile, I would love to go on to something like Flutter or React Native because it makes a business sense. Let's just say Learn, Learn Code Online website is. Uh, and you majorly, the content is on the website. And if I just make a separate development on Android, make a separate development on iOS, and then just allow the user to watch the same content which is on the web on these two platforms, it doesn't really make a business sense for me to hire two separate teams. That is why these technologies got evolved, Flutter and all of that. And eventually, very soon, you're going to see more languages are going to get focused there, unified code for every place. Surely, it has its own drawbacks. They are not as amazing as a core native app can be some uh, slide uh, decrease in the 
processes and that you can see noticeable difference but um in the business it's all about how to balance the stuff what are the drawbacks that you are ready to take down and what are the advantages that are overcoming these disadvantages so it's all about compromise where you can settle it down like for example for me uh, on a simple case if i want to buy a new camera one of the thing that i absolutely want is a flip out screen if it's not a flip out screen no matter how great the camera is i'm not going to buy it who is going to set up my frame i do a lot of framing and stuff so yeah there are few basic things on which you cannot compromise same thing goes with that as well in the business okay uh favorite stand up comedian hey ashish sharma that's a great question a big shout out to ashish sharma for asking this question uh favorite comedy stand up if i'll show you my instagram profile you will be laughing there i follow every single comedian which is there uh i guess rajat is coming tomorrow in jaipur i haven't bought the tickets yet but probably i'm going to buy so all the comedians i follow them on instagram whether it's bassi uh, sapan verma uh, and uh uh gorav sharma gorav kapoor they all of them are in my instagram i watch all of their stories and everything and gorav kapoor is like way next level his stories are so funny i follow bassi as well but he's not that funny in the stories his content is great but yeah i i'm pretty pretty crazy about the stand up comedians i watch all of them i love that it's so good when so many things are going wrong in the world at the same time australian fire uh that corona virus and something a few moment of laughter is actually necessary and by the way if you're planning to travel to china or something please avoid that corona virus is on the rise and all those people who are ready with their guns for a zombie shot out you should be ready because it's an epidemic okay uh what about headless cms using wordpress api hmm go for getsby it can handle that Hey, then your courses are costlier than you do me. <laughs> yes, they are definitely a hundred percent because the amount of support that we provide, the amount of uh, content uh, quality that we provide is actually a bit different there. So yes, they are definitely a bit expensive at some places. And if, yes, of course, the important thing is the support. We have like a, a whole team which answers to the question. So yeah, that is also, and we do keep on updating them as well. So yeah it's a walking dead situation right now. Okay pros and cons of programming career. I don't see any cons. I'm enjoying my life. Surely there are minorities here and there but I'm absolutely loving my life as a programmer so I don't think there might be for some people not for me. I'm happy all. What are you giving away sir? I'm giving away t-shirts as of now the merchandise official i write code t-shirts. uh that's usually i give away and uh, i give away them a lot on instagram as well sometimes on competition this year i have planned to give away a lot of stuff i'm starting with uh these t-shirts and i'm only giving them to people who are already subscribed to the channel not anybody else not anybody else what do you think about ordo ordo what is that ordo or ordo I I I don't have much thought I need to read more about it. Add 5 second to LCO player. Uh it's actually already being added in the mobile app. We are very soon or probably by the end of uh January or by the first week of February will be adding that player onto the web as well. So very soon you're going to see that. It's already there on the mobile if you're watching there. Uh so again Yeah we are bringing that onto the web as well the work is almost finished by the feb first week or second week i give or take these are development this takes some time so yeah it's going to come up very soon uh where is your pretty pink water bottle actually my it's in my dad's car and he always teases me that why did you show this bottle on even on a uh, youtube i said i love that bottle and he still owns that I- i'll bring it back from the car i need to get that bottle back Okay uh how you see android programming in 2020 I think the android programming is going to see a bit of lower graph in 2020 because of the arrival of flutter react native and a couple of more which are about to come so the core development is going to see a bit of the downfall because major business 
practices are moving into the hybrid. It's not actually hybrid application. It's single code base application. Let's say that. That's a better name. Hi, Tesh. Neat t-shirt. It will uh, boost me in the coding. Sachin, uh, I have already given up the one, uh, one t-shirt. So he'll be contact me on Instagram. Probably I can give away one more in tomorrow's Instagram. We can do some fun stuff on Instagram tomorrow, Sunday. It's going to be fun. And I think I can give away one more on Insta. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Uh, are you a dual display fan? I'm not a fan. I'm crazy about dual display. I need dual display to work. I cannot work without dual display. One of my other display is actually really a big Samsung screen, the curved LED screen. And another one is my 5K, this uh, iMac. I have actually two iMacs. This one is here. Uh, one is, this is not really great one. The other one is uh, maxed out 2019 latest edition uh, iMac. So yeah, I love uh, dual monitors. I cannot work without them. I need two screens. And if sometimes, at one point I was using even three screen, but uh, thank goodness I'm out of that. I think I cannot handle that. Okay, what your views on learning web design from Skillshare? Yes, actually, I was teaching uh, a lot of things on Skillshare in the early days when it was not aggressively marketing through YouTubers in the early days. Probably five, four years ago, I was teaching a lot on Skillshare. Some of my courses are still there. I remember one class is still there on the Skillshare where I teach you how using Sketch you can make some Facebook Messenger logo or something. So one of my classes is there on Skillshare. And um, probably I'll upload a couple of more classes there uh, just for fun. I think it's not really that much of a great. It's, it's a bit different environment, bit of a different mindset, which didn't work out much for students. So I'm not a big fan of uh, all of this. Yogendra Saxena, who is CEO and CTO of LCO. Uh, as of now, nobody uh as soon as we move on to the phase where we need somebody to move things on to the next scale uh, i would love to hire a ceo and transfer all the responsibilities to him i think we are going to very soon move on to that phase okay uh the questions are going really fast i seen your first video on this channel uh you haven't actually uh, those first videos are still hidden which were on c++ then it came to Java as well, and then on Python. So initial videos, probably I'll show you some there. These are horrible videos. Uh, I was getting some sponsorship at that time from a professor of IIT Bombay. He said, you are doing a great job in making videos. You should buy a new mic. At that point of time, I was having no camera, just a laptop, uh, webcam, no mic at all. I was shouting directly to the laptop, laptop picking up the mic. No mic, no camera. So early days, I enjoy them. I enjoy them a lot. Will you teach machine learning any sooner? I have got a course on machine learning at LearnCore Online already, so you might want to check them out. There's a lot of things at LearnCore Online. You might want to check that out. Love from Pakistan, energetic programmer. Thank you so much for sending me so many of the smileys. OK. Uh, how do we code and travel the world? Interesting. Probably I'll make a video uh, because, yes, through coding, I've traveled a lot of places. Uh, 31 to be precise, but who's counting? I am counting. <laughs> OK, so I think that's all what I have. OK, there's will Vasim kill JavaScript? <laughs> a lot of questions are coming up. I think that's it. Uh, that's all what I wanted to say for this particular live. It was a fun one. I have given away one t-shirt. And probably, I'm not sure, but probably I'll do one giveaway on Instagram as well. So do follow me up at Hitesh Chaudhary Official and we'll play some game, have some fun live or probably anything. But I'll definitely throw up uh, one more T-shirt uh, absolutely for free as a giveaway uh, to some of some one of you, one of you. So uh, that's it. You missed my super chat. It didn't hang it. If it doesn't hang, I usually miss that. OK. Uh, so, yep, uh, and again, uh, we are going to do more fun stuff. So that's it for this particular awesome Saturday live. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe also. You may get a lot of uh, competition, a lot of fun stuff, giveaways. A lot is coming up. 
that's it for this live. Thank you so much. Keep writing amazing code. And hey, by the way, if you're writing something awesome, if you're making something awesome, click a photo, tag me on Instagram. I would love to reshare that because I love programmers. When programmers build something up, I love it. So don't forget to share with me. Hitesh Chaudhary Official at Insta. Bye-bye.